प्रोफेसर देवाशीष बोस हेड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ क्रिमिनोलॉजी एंड फॉरेंसिक साइंस डॉक्टर हरि सिंह गौर विश्वविद्यालय सागर मध्य प्रदेश टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट अ लेक्चर ऑफ बी एस सी फिफ्थ सेम ऑन द यूनिट फॉरेंसिक टॉक्सिकोलॉजी पार्ट थर्ड विच हैज बीन ज्वाइंटली प्रिपेयर्ड बाई माई सेल्फ एंड वन ऑफ द रिसर्च स्कॉलर प्रियंका पाठे यू जी सी जी आर एफ एट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ क्रिमिनोलॉजी एंड फॉरेंसिक साइंस डॉक्टर हरि सिंह गौर विश्वविद्यालय सागर Let's start our discussion while taking a look at what we are going to learn today. Today's lecture is been divided into five module. Module one: sign and symptoms of common poisoning and their antidote. Module two will deal about identification of biocides and metal salts in body fluid. Module three: carbon monoxide poisoning. Module four: clandestine drug laboratory. And finally, module five will be our conclusion. Let's start with the module one: sign and symptom of common poison. Dear student, today we are going to learn which type of sign and symptoms will occur when any type of poisonous substance come in contact with our body. Sign and symptoms are the internal and external changes in living organism, that is, animal or human, after exposing from some kind of toxic substance or material. In modern time it is not possible to catalog all the possible toxic substance because each day new substance enter into the market there are no single sign and symptom or group of sign and symptom which shows poisoning due to particular toxic substance they always showing closest resemblance to disease a table of common poison is given in which poisons are arranged according to their category like organic irritant corrosive metallic etc under mentioned is the table of common poisons made on the basis of poison sign and symptom and their antidote common type of vegetable poison it will be divided into serial number name of toxic substance sign and symptoms and antidote rhinus communis arundi castor oil plant it gives burning pain in throat nausea vomiting delirium thirst and colicky pain in the abdomen diarrhea no generally bloody dehydration low blood pressure cold and clammy skin impaired sight convulsions jaundice and finally death due to shock treatment is gastric lavage and demulcent number 2 abrus picatoris commonly known as gunchi ratti jaguriti indian liquor rice If seed powder swallowed orally they produce symptoms like vomiting diarrhea if seeds extract injected in the form of needle made by mixing of onion juice with seed powder directly in the skin it produces inflammation and oedema then it leads to necrosis around the site of injection death may occur due to peripheral vascular collapse symptoms look alike snake bite treatment anti albarin is quite useful gastric lavage if indicated if the seeds are taken orally the needle if present should be dissected out third semicarpus anacardium commonly known as marking nut or bilawa lesions looking like a bruise when taken orally it produces blisters on throat and cause irritation the stomach mucosa and intestinal mucosa may be severely inflamed dipsonia tracardia hypotension and finally death may occur no specific antidote is reported fourth calotropis gigantica or calotropis procera commonly known as madar very famous when taken orally its juice produces burning pain in throat and stomach salivation vomiting diarrhea and convulsion may be seen when applied externally it may cause irritation and inflammation on the skin if eyes are exposed by it may cause irritation and conjunctivitis the best treatment is gastric lavage number 5 argot claviceps purpurea neurological symptoms like itching numbness tactile 
hallucination etc also vomiting muscular weakness nausea giddiness could be seen best is gastric lavage after washing stomach give purgative number 6 croton tiglium or jamal gota its oil is a strong irritant it causes intense pain in throat and abdomen followed by salivation purging vertigo vomiting and diarrhea is common in the later state diarrhea may be bloody the person may die due to acute dehydration leading to hypovolemic shock normal treatment is stomach wash and dimulcent number 7 plumbigo rosea and plumbigo zelancia number 7 plumbigo rosea and plumbigo zelanca or commonly known as lal chitra or chitra initially there may be vomiting burning pain in the stomach and diarrhea when comes in contact with skin it causes irritation and blister formation when the roots taken orally it causes irritation and burning pain in stomach and intestine and later causes death due to narcotic action common treatment is gastric lavage number 8 Strychnus nuxvomica, kuchla, bitter taste in mouth, sour taste in throat, papillary dilated, bloody froth from mouth, spasm, tetanic convulsion, asphyxia, and death is due to asphyxia or severe tiredness. The treatment is gastric lavage. So all the above showed are to be treated symptomatically. B. Corrosive poison. number 1 sulfuric acid or battery acid or oil of vitriol when this acid comes in contact with body it causes dehydration acid burns blackening and charring it may produce burning pain in mouth throat and stomach tongue is swollen and covered with white coating which later becomes dark and then brown teeth become chalky white in color corrosion scenes in chin angle of mouth and head stomach appears like blotting paper and later it may be looked like spongy black mask treated with milk of calcium or magnesium oxide bicarbonate demulcent oil milk egg may be given it may also be treated with prednisolone number 2 nitric acid or commonly known as agua fortis or hno3 when taken the lips tongues and mucous membrane of the mouth are first softened and white in color and later turned intense yellow the teeth become yellow and skin and clothes also if someone inhales fumes it will cause irritation in air passage lacrimation in eyes coughing and sneezing dyspnea same the treatment will be same as that of sulfuric acid hydrochloric acid in air passage it causes corrosion if concentration increases it may corrode mucous membrane also the treatment is same that of of sulfuric acid carbolic acid commonly known as phenyl phenyl alcohol or phenic acid when this is consumed it causes intense burning in the mouth and throat membrane of lips and mouth become white if absorbed in blood it causes giddiness insensibility after that deep coma the face become pale skin normally becomes cold and clammy the blood pressure decreases smell of carbolic acid in the breath could be observed convulsion urine is greenish hue in color when exposed to air then it becomes dark this is called carburetor demulcent like egg white milk sodium sulfate sodium bicarbonate could be given as the treatment then we come to metallic poisons number 1 arsenic arsenic trioxide sankhya or somalkar arsenate paris green arsenate sodium arsenite generally metallic arsenic is non poisonous in nature its compound are toxic in acute poisoning it can cause death under 3 hours common symptoms in case of chronic poison is pain in throat slurred voice vomiting purging delirium coma and death 
The acute poisoning shows symptoms that are similar to that of bacterial food poisoning. Motions are appeared like a rice water, but blood may be there. Red velvety appearance of mucosa. Normal arsenic antidote is to be given and British anti-liquicide, commonly known as BAL. Second, lead, commonly known as lead acetate or sugar of lead, lead carbonate or safeda, lead tetroxide or sindoor, lead sulphide, surma. A metallic taste in the mouth, in throat and stomach, feels burning sensation, intense thirst, vomiting, urine color is scanty, peripheral circulatory collapse, depression, coma and finally death may occur. Acute poisoning by tetraethyl lead. CNS symptoms are the main features. Irritability, insomnia, persistent headache, vertigo, muscular weakness, hypertension and convulsion may be seen. Chronic poisoning, plumbism, inhalation of dust, fumes by workers or smelters, plumbers, glass polishers. Symptoms are anemia, Bartonian line, a line on the upper jaw due to lead sulphide, lead encephalopathy, facial pallor, etc. Treatment is gastric lavage, emetics, chelating agents in combination with BAL and calcium disodium versanir. Number 3. Mercury, known as mercury chloride, mercury oxide, mercuric sulphide or Sindur vermilion pigment, acute poisoning, metallic taste in mouth, greyish white coating on the tongue, dipsnoia, cough, fever, nausea, diarrhea, abdominal cramps, chest pain and blurring of vision, proximal neural tubular necrosis, pink disease, minimata disease may cause by it. In case of chronic poisoning, salivation, Sore throat, fine tremor in hands, shaking palsy, also called as hatter's shakes or glass blower's shake, mercular erythism, seen in persons working with mercury in mineral manufacturing firm, mercurians, peculiar eye change due to deposition of mercury. The treatment normally is gastric lavage and BAL. Next, copper. As copper sulfate. Nilathota, copper carbonate, copper subacetate. It causes intense thirst, taste of metal in mouth, burning sensation in throat and stomach, vomiting, blue or green in color, nausea, jaundice is common. Tisalism, cupious secretion of saliva, golden hair. Clapton's line, greenish line on the margin of gums. Wilson's disease. Treatment is EDTA, BAL, stomach wash. Now when we come to part D, non-metallic poison. First is phosphorus. The poisoning of phosphorus occurs within half an hour after ingestion of pellets or inhalation of phosphine gas. Acute poisoning. It causes irritation in gastrointestinal tract, distress, dizziness, fatigue, nausea, Vomiting, diarrhea, headache and tightness in chest are commonly seen. In case of chronic poisoning, hypotension, shock, trichardia, fossy jaw that is necrosis of jaw with foul smell. Normal treatment given is copper sulphate. Vitamin K is administered along with gastric lavage. Second, iodine, protoplasmic poison. It shows symptoms like acid. Basically corrosive acids. Common symptoms are thirst, vomiting which is normally dark and yellow in color. Lips have brown stain. Urine, normally it's reddish brown in color. The treatment should be symptomatic treatment. Now we come to agricultural poison. First we will see organophosphorus that is alkyl phosphate or aryl phosphate and carbamates. When it is taken, it causes inhibition of chlorosterase, sweating, salivation, vomiting, diarrhea, nausea, pupillary construction and hypotension are common symptoms. Weakness, muscular cramps, hypertension, 
respiratory fail failure, paralysis are seen. Carbamates may cause severe headache, confusion, tremor, restlessness, ataxia, weakness, decreased rate of respiratory, slurred speech, convulsion and coma. Normal treatment, give atropine, paralidoxine and gastric leverage. Second is organochlorines, normally DDT, BHC, aldrine, eldrine, etc. It starts with salivation, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, coughing, sound of voice became hoarseness, headache, giddiness, restlessness, hyper irritability, incoordination, mental confusion, convulsion, coma followed by death due to respiratory failure. Normal treatment are give a gastric lavage, give activated charcoal, naloxone, calcium gluconate could help in the treatment. Third, pyrethrins and pyrethroids. When it comes in contact with skin, it causes blisters, nausea, vomiting, vertigo, hyperthermia, convulsion, altered mental state, inhalation can cause rhinorrhea, sore throat and dyspnea. Stomach wash is the treatment, give activated charcoal and atropine. Dinitro compounds, when taken, it can cause skin rashes, lips and buccal mucosa have burning sensation. One could have anxiety, restlessness, tiredness, insomnia, convulsion, intense perspiration, coma. Treatment is normally symptomatic. Then we come to irritant poison which is animal and mechanical in nature. First is cantharides. Gives local redness and inflammation which is followed by multiple blisters formation. After two hours, severe burning in mouth, throat and stomach, salivation, low blood pressure, nausea, vomiting and diarrhea are the common symptoms. The treatment is normally symptomatic. Then we come to the next category, it's a snake poison which is very important. So factor depends upon the type of snake, age and health of the patient and site of snake bite. These are very important because most of the snakes are non-poisonous also. There is local swelling due to leakage of fluid, damage of capillary endothelium, pain and discoloration develops at the site of the bite. Generally after 15 minutes, nausea, vomiting and signs of collapse, cold calm is keen, hypersalivation, thready feeble rapid pulse with low blood pressure is seen, necrosis develops at the site. In case of bite from colubrine snake such as cobra or crate, the immediate local action are burning or tingling pain, irritation, swelling and inflammation. After 15 minutes, symptoms develop in the form of giddiness, lethargy, muscular weakness, drowsiness and a feeling of intoxication. Nausea and vomiting may also be there. Weakness in muscles and paralysis of limbs develop. The death occurs due to coma. Normally, when a person reports of a snake bite, a tight ligature should be tried above the bite mark. Polyvent anti-snake venom, normally known as PAV, should be given. 2. Glass. When glass is taken, severe burning in the throat and mouth when it is taken orally. Particles of sharp glass causes erosion in esophagus, stomach, small intestine, leading to bleeding and perforation generally constipation seen but bloody diarrhea may also be there. Normal treatment are give that person bulky food like banana, rice and antiacid. Now we come to module 2. Identification of biocide and metallic salts. Biocides. How many of you know about biocides? What are biocides? Biocides are generally defined as chemicals or biological agents that are capable of destroying, preventing or rendering harmless pathogen organisms. In terms of regulatory activity, the scope of biocides has expanded to the extent that they are regarded as non-agricultural biocides. 
their use requires that they be registered and approved through national and international regulatory schemes biocides are extensively used in industry domestically agriculture and with medical and veterinary application thus they find widespread use particularly in pulp and paper manufacturing units in personal care products preservatives and as sanitizers disinfectants and sterilants because they are reactive with pathogenic organism biocides are potentially toxic and through misuse can result in adverse health effect dear student as you all know biocides are very useful in our daily life because they ensure and improve the quality of product and also provide protection against dangerous disease in the form of pesticides and disinfectant there are several analytical methods available for identification and detection of biocides in biological and non biological matrices which are based on various methods like preliminary examination and instrumental methods preliminary examination techniques generally include physical appearance of analyte like state color melting point boiling point solubility color test and so on an instrumental method generally involve determination of residues based on chromatographic methods like tlc or thin layer chromatography hp tlc or high performance thin layer chromatography glc or gas liquid chromatography or hplc high performance liquid chromatography under diverse analytical condition now we come to metallic salts dear student as you all are aware about the things that metals are essential for our body however many metals themselves are non toxic to us but some metallic salts are toxic and they produce certain signs and symptoms when they come in contact with organism and produce their ill effect on that here are some metals and metallic salts which produce ill effect to the organism copper copper sulfate mostly frequently shows signs of ulceration vomiting first greenish later bloody lead concentrate in blood soft tissues bones cause hemolysis anemia encephalopathy cadmium tai tai disease this disease caused by cadmium poisoning it was first recorded in japan during mining in toyama prefecture in this poisoning victim felt severe pain in the spine and joints and also caused softening of bones and kidney failure mercury limate calomel mercuric nitrite when oral ingestion happens metallic taste in the mouth persists pain in the pharynx bloody vomiting oral mucosa is grayish white coagulation necrosis anuria can accumulate in the hair grayish white area on buccal mucosa later become grayish black now we come to zinc chloride it is from batteries burning pain in mouth nausea vomiting bloody diarrhea liver and kidney damage potassium permanganate coagulation necrosis irritated mucosa turns into a purplish red color generally maximum metals are non poisonous but their salts are poisonous like salt of arsenic lead copper etc this shows adverse effect on organism to identify their toxic effect on an organism systematic procedure are followed that is preliminary examination like state color melting point boiling point solubility color test instrumental method or confirmatory examination generally involves spectroscopic method like atomic absorption spectroscopy that is aas naa that is neutron activation analysis and faas etc these methods of detection are very important in forensic science because they help to identify the cause of death due to the particular metallic poison these methods are also suitable in identifying a substance when it is present in much much lesser amount in the sample now we come to module 
carbon monoxide dear student carbon monoxide is a colorless and tasteless gas produced when complete combustion of carbon occurs this is insoluble in water and burns with blue flame carbon monoxide poisoning happens when one breathes too much of carbon monoxide carbon monoxide can come from any source during burning so the common sources are automobiles wooden stoves kerosene heaters charcoal grills and gas appliances such as water heaters ovens and dryers usually they cause no problem trouble comes when car trucks or any other engine are left on or in running condition in an enclosed space such as garage carbon monoxide can build up in a garage and leak back into the house even sitting in an ideal running car in an open garage can be dangerous fuel burning appliances when not installed or used properly dangerous level of carbon monoxide can also build up inside houses and other building fuel burning heating systems and appliances are used during cold weather when doors and windows are closed chimneys in older buildings become blocked and release fumes into the home or offices newer house that are well insulated and tightly sealed can also trap carbon monoxide inside affinity of carbon monoxide for hemoglobin is about 200 times greater than that of oxygen this gas replaces oxygen and combines with hemoglobin that transforms hemoglobin into carboxyhemoglobin which is relatively stable compound it is a particular cellular toxin it acts as chemical asphyxiant and causes death due to anemic anoxia in this case the color of blood appears cherry red what are the signs and symptoms signs and symptoms depends upon the percentage of carboxyhemoglobin present in the body if concentration and exposure of carbon monoxide is low then memory psychomotor and cognitive skills are decrease carboxyhemoglobin level reaches up to 50% then it gives cerebral edema seizures and coma is normally seen if it exceeds from 60% low pulse respiration and hypotension is seen if the concentration and exposure of carbon dioxide is low then the memory psychomotor and if the concentration and exposure of carbon dioxide is low then memory psychomotor and cognitive skills are decreased if the limit exceeds than 70% the survival is not possible what are the general treatment The first step is to remove that person from exposed environment as early as possible. Oxygen treatment should be given by mask. If death occur, what are the post-mortem appearance? The lips, fingernails, post-mortem staining shows bright red color or cherry color. Mucous membranes, internal organs appears bright red due to red color of blood in vessels. Red color patches are scattered over anterior surface. dear student now we come to module 4 that is clandestine laboratory this is very important and please pay attention clandestine drug laboratory is a place where manufacturing of illegal drugs occur these labs are also known as clan labs clandestine laboratory are generally associated with manufacturing of amphetamine type of stimulants in particular methamphetamine during the manufacturing of methamphetamine a range of various household chemicals are generally used these chemicals are present in air as volatile aerosol deposit on remains on surface in the home may be present in drainage system the residue may persist for months or even years indicators of these labs are finding of containers equipments chemical and significant amount of waste products mainly of these nature type of meth labs generally two types of meth labs are in tradition they are super lab and mom and pop lab super labs are those which can manufacture 2500 or more grams of meth per production cycle 
mom or pop labs are those labs which can manufacture 28 to normally 100 grams of meth per production cycle. Dear student, after this interesting lecture, we are moving towards concluding it. This whole lecture was based on the signs and symptoms appearing in common poisoning. This lecture had also focused on biocides and clandestine laboratory, which is a major concern of today because this type of laboratories emerging rapidly around the world. With all these information, here we come to an end of today's interesting lecture. Do keep in mind what we had discussed today. It's time for you all to do some self-study. This is Professor Devashish Bose signing off. If you want to learn more and enhance your knowledge, you may log on to our website for MCQs, quizzes and LORs at www.cec.nic.in. Till then, goodbye and thank you.